Hello, and welcome to Blue Prism World. In this session today, we're going to be taking you through Blue Prism for attended automation. We're going to be touching upon both demonstrations as well as actually how customers are using this today. First off, a little bit about our presenters. I'm joined today by Adrian White, who is our Head of Product Consultancy. He's going to be helping me with some of the demonstrations. Myself, I'm Danny Major, and the Chief Technology Officer of the Blue Prism Cloud Business Unit. I'm really excited to be here today. So first off, to touch upon the agenda, we're going to cover what is Blue Prism Interact. We're going to jump fairly early on into a demonstration so you can actually see how easy it is to start to extend your Blue Prism processes into the front office. We're going to touch upon some industry use cases and we'll go in through four customer use cases today around how they're using Blue Prism Interact. We're then going to jump back to another demonstration we're going to cover something a little bit more complex around a real-time human in the loop process uh, around a change of circumstance and you get to see firsthand how Blue Prism and Interact tightly interact, integrate in order to drive a customer outcome. We're going to touch upon how licensing works and then we're going to go back to how you can learn more uh, and ultimately understand more information around Interact and how you can use it within your processes today. So first off, Blue Prism Interact and what it is. Simply put, Blue Prism Interact is a collaboration interface between your people and your digital workers. It allows you to extend your Blue Prism processes into the front office through a no-code interface. We'll be able to see that in a moment as part of the demonstration. There's some other value add capability as well as providing end-to-end -end encryption from both the way in which your users interact with Interact and as well as actually information is passed through the, the processes and supported by the digital workers who underpin the Blue Prism processes themselves. Interact is also catered for uh, end user wide labeling. So what we're able to do is actually craft and create very unique experiences for each user who logs in and accesses Interact. And that goes into both the processes that they're able to uh, interact with as well as the branding and white labeling theming that they receive as well. So a huge amount of customization around what can be done here. And in addition to this, we also support user level localization. So you can start to style not only in a branding thing, but also the language that the end user uh, prefers as well. And our data sheets will show and demonstrate the range of languages that we're able to support with this capability. So, First off, let's jump into a demonstration. Just to set the scene here, what we're going to be doing is taking you through how you can build and extend the Blue Prism process using Blue Prism Interact. We're going to demonstrate the no code interface and ultimately how easy it is to use Interact as part of Blue Prism. We're going to show things like field level validation so we can make sure that if we're asking a user for information, either as part of or throughout a process, how we can start to validate and ensure the information is correct. And then ultimately how we can publish forms and drive the integration into Blue Prism, either pushing information into a queue or later on we'll show actually how your digital workers can push information back through Interact as well. So at this point in time, I'm gonna hand over to Adrian, who's gonna help with the demonstration. We'll have a voice over to support this as well as a guide through the experience. See you in a few moments. It takes you through how to extend your Blue Prism processes into the front office whilst addressing human in the loop use cases. Interact is a collaboration interface supporting the execution of workloads that span human and digital workers in order to deliver an outcome. The whole user experience is web-based and the form creation interface is accessible for users within the Blue Prism Center of Excellence. The interface is a no-code platform, allowing the user to start building forms within minutes. In the form management dashboard, you can see all of the forms which are either progressed or submitted. Forms are published only to those individuals or groups that you authorize. Opening an existing new starter form, you can see a series of properties, including the language used to describe the form, the associated Blue Prism queue, any approval workflow, and the supporting icon. Opening the form takes a user to the form designer editor. 
There are two key panes, the left which allows the user to design the form and the right which renders the form in real time, allowing the user to experience how it will be presented to the end users once published. As the fields are reordered, you can see them immediately update in the play test pane. Opening one of the fields exposes the options, in this case, the drop down list. We can see in this example there are two pages, one to collect employee information and the other related to company information. Pages like fields can be hidden on the fly based on user selection. Creating a new field on a page shows the full list of options such as date, time, radio and upload types. Each field type has its own validation options. For example, in the case of a date, you can set the limits on the past or future dates as well as the time span. If we take a look at the National Insurance Number field, you can see that the Advanced Regular Expression option has been used to validate the inputted National Insurance Number meets the expected format. Entering a value that is not supported then presents a custom message back to the user. The same has been done for the Social Security Number field. Next, we look at the form rules. These allow a simple setting of conditions for when fields should be made optional, mandatory, read-only or hidden. Both pages and fields within pages have their stages changed dynamically. In a later demonstration, we'll show how this can also be controlled dynamically within a Blue Prism process. Next, we jump to the end user screen. This would be exposed to individuals either inside or outside your business to those that have some form of interaction with the business process. Interact supports full white labelling at the user level, so we are able to create very unique experiences per user. When logged in, a series of tiles represent each of the processes that I am authorised to access. Using the search filter presents forms which meet my criteria. Opening the form allows for the user to enter information and iterate through the pages before submitting. Once submitted or saved as a draft, I can visit the submission screen to see previously action cases. Submissions also present work that has either been given to me by a peer or digital worker to review or verify. In a later demonstration, we'll cover how human in the loop and dynamic forms support a Blue Prism process. Thank you for watching. Great. So as part of that demonstration, hopefully we now understand how easy it is to be able to, to use Interact and how we can start to extend our Blue Prism processes through a no-code interface into the front office. And there'll be another demonstration that we'll cover in a moment. Before we do that, however, I wanna bring four uses of cases to your attention around how Interact is being used today. So first off, we have an energy and utilities example. And this customer, EDF Energy, interestingly uses Interact in a blend of real-time and non-real-time processes to support both internal use cases and other use cases that have a more direct customer front office interaction. So ultimately, they're able to extend their processes for activities such as uh, uh, update of account details, being able to solicit the information from the user to collect the information once to then manage that account details updates across multiple backend systems. And what we're doing here is we're using the power of Blue Prism Interact to extend into the front office, coupled with the power of Blue Prism to drive the interaction against multiple backend systems. Next off, we have a US healthcare example. And for this customer, Mount Sinai, they're able to extend their patient registration process to their end users. And the value here is that you're able to transform the way in which their process worked so that rather than individual going into clinics or other locations to fill out a paper form of information, they could instead transform and digitize that process, asking for the information once, collecting that information, and then using the power of Blue Prism to drive that information into the process, accessing the back end systems of about Sinai. So quite valuable here because actually, again, being able to digitize a business process whilst extending into the front office. Next off, we have Wiltshire County Council who are able to work with their utility providers in order to simplify the way in which they can ask for temporary traffic signals. So taking 
uh, a well-established business process that would have previously required manual intervention in order to initiate the activities. They could not only automate the process on the back end with Blue Prism, it extends an easy to consume interface out to their utility partners to allow them to initiate the process as well as have information provided back to them at the end of the process once the activity had been completed by the digital workers. And lastly, for a financial services example, we have Thomas Miller. They were able to automate their renewals process. And ultimately, the value here was about driving down email based communication, which had a number of issues and a number of impacting items on the way in which they could automate. Through extending a process through Interact, they were able to validate the information and ensure that they were asking for the right information in order to complete a process. And kind of jumping back to what you saw on the form designer demonstration, if we only need four or five pieces of information, we can ask from that for the user. We can move away from unstructured conversational language and just prompt the user with the information that we require in order for our processes to be successful. And something that isn't mentioned here in the use cases, but hopefully you can start to understand with the power of Interact, not only can we look at digitizing processes into the front office, but actually where we have processes that may have some type of business exception, we can actually start to use Interact to reach out to the relevant users within the business to ask for the right information to allow a digital worker to carry on with their activities. So hopefully you can now see multiple use cases for, for Interact. What we're going to do now is actually jump into something a little more, more complex. This kind of builds on some of the use cases we've spoken about previously. And what we're going to do here is actually demonstrate a traditional industry use case around change of circumstance. And unlike some of the previous um, conversations and topics we've been talking through, this actually is a multi-stage process between a digital worker and a person. And what we're going to do as part of this short demonstration is actually not only showcase how Interact can support fluid processes that may be jumped between digital workers and people at multiple steps, but ultimately how we're able to use the dynamic qualities of the interface to prompt the user for the right information at the right time to allow the digital worker to carry on. This demonstration is going to show actually the digital worker on the right hand side that the agent wouldn't usually see and the user interface on the, on the left hand side. And through this demonstration, we're going to see the real time properties around how Blue Prism Interact can address these complex use cases. So back to the demonstration. See you in a few minutes. Hello and welcome to a product overview of the human in the loop capabilities of Blue Prism Interact. In this demonstration, we'll take you through a customer support scenario involving a customer request to change their direct debit detail information on their account. This process is supported by Blue Prism Digital Workers and Blue Prism Interact. The scenario will see the customer support agent initiate the process through the Interact user interface, providing the account number and sort code supplied by the customer, which then drives the process in Blue Prism. The process requires a security question to be answered, which will see Blue Prism prompt the agent to request this information from the customer. Once answered, the agent will then be able to carry on with the request. You will notice that the form updates in real time based on the information required to complete the process. Let us now see the process in action. On the left, you can see the process is available to the agent. On the right part of the screen, you can see Blue Prism running, which the agent wouldn't normally see. Once the user initiates the process, they're required to enter the customer information, which includes the account number and sort code. The process is initiated, allowing the agent to action other processes if needed. In parallel, the work has been given to a Blue Prism digital worker. As the process has been picked up immediately, the user interface has flagged the form in the inbox. Opening the form, it has been updated with the security answers, which are required in the form of the date of birth and mother's maiden name, with the original information now read only. This information is used in the process as part of the security validation steps. As the information was correct, the Blue Prism process is now moved onto the next screen, prompting the user in real time for the account number, sort code, address, which is associated to the new direct debit plan. Thereafter, the process can then complete. To ensure a historic record of events, 
Users of Interact can view historic submissions and supplementary information captured by a Blue Prism. In this case, you can see that the overall activity status of the process has been completed. This concludes the product overview of the real-time human in the lake capabilities of Interact. Thank you. Great. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that demonstration and you saw really the complexity in the way in which Interact can be deployed in order to support those use cases. And again, not only simplified use cases where we just need to get information into the system to allow Blue Prism to carry on with activities and not just in use cases where we need digital workers to present information back to a user as part of the end of a, an activity but actually how we can support those much more fluid real-time activities where you need digital workers supporting your users in real time in order to drive a successful outcome for the business process. So what we're gonna do now is briefly talk about licensing, a couple of key properties around how licensing works. So Interact is deployed for an organization's existing deployment of Blue Prism, or even an entirely new deployment of Blue Prism. But the interesting point here is actually you need only license Interact for your front office processes. So in an example, you, a customer, a partner, may have 100 Blue Prism digital workers, but you may only have 20 digital workers which support your, your processes. You only need license Interact for those 20 processes. In addition, there's no user limit on the amount of people who can drive processes Interact or solicit activities off the back of a process being managed through Interact. So there's no user limit. Based on what you saw in some of the earlier demonstrations, each of the process tiles that are presented, there's an unlimited use of process tiles as well. Lastly, there's no form limit as well. So if you want to have multiple forms for multiple processes, you can do that as well within, within Interact. And, long, and coming back to the previous point, your digital workers are in essence untethered from Interact. They can not only support your front office processes, but they can do other back office tasks at the same time. And the goal here is about providing ultimate flexibility for you and customers and partners in the way in which you extend Blue Prism. So aware we've covered quite a lot of information on this session today. So I now wanna take a couple of moments just to talk about some of the available resources to you around how you can learn about Blue Prism Interact. So first off, you have the Blue Prism University. Uh, on there, there is a course and we'll share some information afterwards around how you can start to understand more about Blue Prism Interact uh, and understand how it can link into Blue Prism and how you can start to extend your processes. There's going to be videos and information on the Blue Prism communities. So being able to search for Blue Prism Interact, you'll be able to find the information that we're starting to share around this. And lastly, there's going to be future webinars on Interact as well, how we start to go into more levels of detail around how Interact is being used today. And we also have uh, information on the screen around how you can get in contact with us in order to understand more about how Interact can be used to support your Blue Prism processes today. So finally, from me, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this session and likewise the rest of Blue Prism World. Really good to talking to you. Hope to see you soon. Bye.